Hi there everybody, it's Dr. Coletti here at Big West Health and Rehab and today I wanted to talk to you and pose a few questions back and forth uh, discussing why is it that you do what you do and today for the first time ever uh, on video I'm going to open up and tell you who are uh, possibly patients or current patients or prospective patients of why is Dr. Coletti a chiropractor and why does he do what he do and uh, well, that answer was probably the same, and I'll get to that in just a moment, 18 years ago when I first started, but you know, perhaps 18 years ago for a different reason. I needed to make money. I had bills to pay. I had to take care of uh, you know, my new sprouting family. <clears throat> but today I can kind of safely say is, you know, hey, life is relative. We all got bills. We have to go to work, uh, uh, some of us more so than others. But I can safely say that today, as a practicing physician of almost 18 years, um, the reason I do what I do is uh, truly a result of something that happened to me in my residency uh, back in 1990, I think it was 1997, I don't want to date myself too much, but I used to deliver newspapers for the Atlanta Journal, um, getting up every morning, including Christmas, uh, for uh, three years uh, during school to uh, deliver newspapers for the Atlanta Journal. So prior to delivering newspapers, I only had an Acura Integra with no air conditioning. I would have to stack the papers in the little plastic bags, and little plastic bags, and little plastic bags. And I threw all these papers into this big old two or three um, grocery carts. And then I would load my car up and then I would drive. At that time, it's now five in the morning. I'm just throwing papers in the middle of the dark. And I did that for a number of times, but uh, or for a number of years, but the woman, who uh, I used to pack my papers uh, across from at around four in the morning. A uh, wonderful woman, I, I, I can't remember even her name, but she had a daughter who was nine years old and she would tell me about some issues and problems that they would have. You, Amazing what conversations you strike up at, you know, that early in the morning. And, uh, you know, she had had this, uh, her daughter was basically incontinent. Her doctor, she'd been to every urologist, every primary care, every specialist. And she was uh, at nine years old in third grade and could not control her, her bowels. Um, they recommended all these medications that really weren't helping or working. They were recommending alarm clocks. And to listen to this devastation of this mother of a nine-year-old, who at the time I only had a infant, infant daughter, so I couldn't even really wrap my hands around that. Uh, but I felt her pain, so as a naive internist, I said, well, you know what, you should take your daughter in, we'll shoot some x-rays, and uh, you know, I'm a chiropractor, and we work really uh, in tune with the nervous system. So I thought that, you know, now the naivety of it is, is yes, I was almost graduating to come on to become a, a licensed physician, um, but frankly, I didn't know what in the heck I was doing. Uh, I, I didn't know if I really, does chiropractic actually even work? We were working on all these patients and you hear all these negative things. So make a long story short of it. She comes in, we shoot some x-rays and, and, and lo and behold, the nerves in the lower back region, there are a few of the nerves there that actually control the bowels. And I took some x-rays and I adjusted her three or four times and um, it changed my life because my hair stands up on my hands like goose flesh right now because that mother came in and after about three adjustments, you know, was it was it God's way? Was it my miraculous adjustment? Was it my way of affecting the nervous system? Was it my way as a chiropractor claiming that I can fix bowel problems? No, you know, you take pressure off of nerves in the spine and see what happens. And um, it changed my life forever. So when you ask that question, why do you do what you do? When I, when I remember that woman who, uh, who brought her daughter into me at nine years old with no control of her bowels, and after three visits with me as a naive internist, this little girl's never had that problem again, to my knowledge. Um, and they'll see the tears coming out of that mother's eyes. It transformed me, and thankfully it did at the time because then it allowed me to go into you know, a practicing physician and chiropractor with a little more confidence behind my belt. And uh, you know, I wanted to share that story because uh, we all have one. You know, why is it that you do what you do? And if you're doing something that you do for different reasons and only to pay the bills, um, you know, maybe it's never too late. Think back and say, hey, listen, am I passionate about this? You know, 
Uh, I'm thankful that I found a, a line of work that allows me to give me and my services and my healing capabilities to people and patients. And I do it every day. And there are times I have to pinch myself and remind myself that the effects that we have uh, on patients and, uh, and to not take it for granted. And I am so, so lucky. And, uh, uh, but that's just, that's it. I wanted to share that message with you and I've never told that live to a, to a lot of people and um, on why I do what I do. And uh, uh, leave some remarks if you'd like or even email or call and share those story, some of your stories with me. I'd, I'd, be, I'd be glad and happy to hear them. Uh, so as from Dr. Coletti, I am out. I hope I didn't bore you too much. As always, stay classy.